Naming your kid is perhaps the most important decision you'll ever make when it comes to naming something. And you have to take that decision fucking seriously. You can't just fuck around and call your kid something stupid like pirate or banjo or kid or something like that, right? You need to make sure you give your kid a nice name. Because if you don't, what's going to happen? Exactly. Your kids are going to get bullied. So to help you to be a good parent and to make sure your kids don't get bullied all because you gave them a shit name, I present to you Grade A Under A's Guide to Not Giving Your Kids a Shit Name. Right, so to help me out with this exercise, I've gone and found a local school bully and he's going to help me out with this. Is that alright, mate? Yeah, mate. Right, so as an example to show you what I mean, for God's sake, man, do not call your kid Ray. Ray gay? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Other names that you can no longer use anymore include Patrick, you are fat dick, Matt, right twat, and dick. Why would you call your kid dick? It's literally a fucking insult. You don't even have to do anything to turn your kid's name into a rude word because it's already a rude word. You wouldn't call your son bastard, would you? Exactly. So why would you call him dick? <music> By the way, right, in case you didn't know this, the name dick is a shortened version of the name Richard. What? How? How the fuck does Richard go to dick? The name Christopher gets shortened to Chris. Right, piss? The name Matthew gets shortened to Matt. You right, twat? But how the fuck does the name Richard get shortened to Dick? They don't even start with the same letter. If you have a kid called Richard and you want to shorten his name, why don't you? Why didn't you call him Rich? Right, bitch. All right, fair enough. But I'd much rather be called Rich than be called Dick. To be called Rich is actually a good thing. And while Rich is a good thing, Dick isn't. Mm, I don't know, Grade. I'd have to disagree with you there. Fuck off, Nicole! Now listen, I'm gonna say this just very quickly and I'm not gonna stay on this point for too long because I know some people are gonna start crying Oh my god, Grade, you're a racist! But I need to point this out, alright? You can't always do this, but if you can, try and make sure your kid's name doesn't mean something rude in a country that you might end up living in. For example, right? When I was in uni, no bullshit, there was a kid studying there whose name and picture we saw on a bulletin board called Cock Chewy. <laughs> Cock Chewy. I don't give a fuck how politically correct you are and how overly sensitive you are to this kind of stuff, right? But this is undeniable. That's a fucking unfortunate name. Chewy Cock. And for fuck's sake, man, don't name your kid gay. That's literally a name. Gay. Like, come on, man. You might think, ah, oh, fuck off, grade. I've never seen anyone called gay. I went on IMDb and had a quick search, right? Look at all the gays I found in the movie industry. And look at this. Gay McDonald. That's what you call a homosexual restaurant. You don't call your kid that. Now, listen, right? All of the rules that I've said so far, pretty fucking obvious. Do you know what I mean? But... There's one group of people who either don't know or don't give a fuck about any of these rules, right? And that group of people is celebrities. For some reason, right, celebrities have a habit of giving their kids some of the fucking dumbest, absolute shittest names I've ever heard. Do you remember at the start of the video when I said you can't just call your kids some dumb shit like pirate or banjo or kid, right? Well, some celebrities already have. The lead singer of the band Korn called his kid Pirate, Rachel Griffiths called her kid Banjo, and David Duchovny actually called his kid... Kid. Why do you bastards hate your kids that fucking much? And if you think these are bad, right? These are fucking nothing. Magician Penn Gillette called his kid Moxie Crime Fighter. Sylvester Stallone called his kid Sage Moonblood. Evil Jared Hasselhoff of the Bloodhound Gang called his son Foxtrot Uniform Charlie Kilo and Frank Zappa called two of his kids Moon Unit and Diva Thin Muffin. What the fuck are these names? You are fucking horrible people and you're horrible parents. 
How does someone come up with names that fucking random? Oh my god, look how cute he is! What should we call him? One second. Romantic. Conilingus. Discharge. And fuck it, right? When random words aren't random enough, just make up words and mix them in with the other random words you've already picked out. Gwen Stefani did just that and called her kid Zuma Nesta Rock and Paula Yates called her kid, listen, Heavenly Hirani Tiger Lily. What? What the f- But listen, in a sense, right, I can kind of see where the parents are coming from. For example, Heavenly Hirani Tiger Lily, whilst they do sound stupid, they still sound namish. Do you know what I mean? It sounds kind of hippie and spiritual. But some celebrities give their kids names that legit just sound fucking stupid. Shannon Sossaman called her kid fucking audio science. Jason Lee not only called his kid pilot inspector, but he spelt it wrong. And maybe worst of all, actor Rob Morrow called his kid two. Making the kid's name Tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Rob? You absolute retard. With a name like that, you might as well go to your son's school and force all the kids to bully him. But listen, everything you've heard up until now is nothing, alright? The worst naming that I've ever seen belongs to a channel right here on YouTube and they honestly have the fucking stupidest, shittest names given to the people you see in the video I've ever seen in my fucking life, I swear to God. And that channel is... ME!